Hello everybody and welcome back to another video as today we're going to be talking about Jesse Pugliarvi, the Bison King who just signed a one year deal worth $3 million here with the Edmonton Oilers which I gotta say I am super happy about that has put a big old grin on my face but before we get into talking about this man we're uh, like to just say if you are new to the channel make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button as well and make sure to go check out my discord server and the uh twitch channel also that is all down in the description below but let's get into talking about Jesse Pugliarvi here today as uh, he just signed a new uh, one-year deal worth $3 million, like I said. And this is honestly a pretty good deal. I, I like Jesse Pugliarvi, and this is a pretty good deal. This is around the range that I was thinking that Jesse Pugliarvi was going to be signed up. Now, I wish that it was a longer-term deal. Uh, I really wish it was, but unfortunately, it was not. It was not a longer-term deal. From what it looks like, this deal was uh, dealt with in arbitration or was signed following an arbitration violence. So it was, it was done before arbitration hit. So usually these types of deals before arbitration usually are about a one-year deal, which is most likely what we're going to be seeing out of Yamamoto as well, just a one-year deal around probably this range as well, which is what we hope. Uh, but this is probably around the deal that you were expecting for Pulley RV. The $3 million range is exactly what you want. And Pulley RV, honestly, I love Pulley RV. You guys know I've chanted and raved about Pulley RV this entire season and how he does not get enough respect and how he should get that respect that he absolutely deserves. We're going to go over some numbers that Pulley RV posted this upcoming season now. To begin the season, Pulley RV posted 23 points in 28 games to start off the season. He had an amazing start for the Edmonton Oilers until he had some injuries and also COVID hit him as well. And he only posted 13 points in the last 37 games of the season. He did really good off the beginning. He was a little slow at the end, but even then he was still playing very well defensively and was still posting some amazing numbers. Now throughout the entire season, he had 65 points in 36 games, played amazing defensively, was amazing up on the top line, was amazing down on the bottom line. Pulley RV just did a lot of good things out there and he had an amazing active stick he was just an amazing proactive defensive player now his finishing ability is something that definitely needs to be worked on you know that's a big thing with Pulley RV last year his finishing ability was pretty good this year it, it, it definitely did not go very well for Pulley RV I felt like he was amazing offensively I thought he stepped up his game offensively he was generating a lot of opportunities he was out there a lot but just wasn't able to bury into the back of the net or even, you know, get assists, which he did start a lot of the plays, but he was so far back, he was acting like a defenseman a lot of the times where he, you know, broke it out, but then he was just like the last guy into the offensive zone and the puck was already in the back of the net. Now, with Pulley RV, you know, there's a lot of guys that really don't like Pulley RV out there. There's a lot of haters that believe we should trade him, that, you know, he's not worth it, so on and so forth. But to be honest with you guys, there's not a lot of a trade market out there for Jesse Pugliarvi, and it wouldn't be worth trading Pugliarvi. I mean, there's teams that want Pugliarvi, but it's not worth trading Pugliarvi. we just seen that Oliver Bjorkstrand, who I would say is what Pugliarvi will probably be in the future, maybe even better, and he got traded for a third and fourth round pick. And there's a lot of teams that want cap in, cap out, and the Edmonton Oilers don't want to do that. If they're going to be trading away a player, they're trying to trade away cap away from the team. They're not trying to pull cap back in when they trade away Jesse Pugliarvi. And quite honestly, if we're trying to trade away Jesse Pugliarvi, it's not going to be worth it. You know, we're going to get back. We need right wingers. So how are we going to vastly improve the team by trading away Jesse Pugliarvi? You know, it, with the way that things are, with the way that the media has tanked his value, basically... You know, we're not going to get a whole crap ton back in this deal if we were to trade away Jesse Pugliarvi. You know, I think it's time to just wait on Jesse Pugliarvi, give him another year, see how this year works out, if he's able to work on his finishing ability, which I think without a doubt, he will. I think this next year will be a breakout season for Jesse Pugliarvi without a doubt. I have that gut feeling, the way that he's posted numbers, the way that I watched him play throughout this entire season... There was just a lot of times that he wasn't able to handle the puck very well. There was a lot of, you know, this is puck handling skills wasn't amazing. There was times where it was absolutely flawless. And then there was other times where it just didn't look very good. But I feel like this year is just going to be a completely different year for Jesse Pugliarvi. Even in his post-workout, he was really happy with the way that he played. And I think this year he's going to take a massive step up, especially playing underneath Jay, Jay Woodcroft and the rest of the coaching staff that we have. I think J Jesse Pugliarvi will fit absolutely perfect with this team coming up this year. And I think he will really perform very well. And I think he'll outplay this $3 million contract without a doubt. 
And you guys could think I'm wrong or whatever it may be, but th that's my hot take. And I think Jesse Pugliarvi will play absolutely amazing this upcoming season. And I'm really honestly excited to see how Jesse Pugliarvi will play with this contract and going throughout the main, uh, the rest of the season. Now, of course, a lot of people were, you know, uh, saying that with this deal, will he still get traded? Yeah, without a doubt, there's still that chance. But with this signing, I think it's a less of a chance of it happening. Like I was saying, there's a lot of teams that want cap in, cap out. That's why I'm saying that a trade like this might not happen until next year. If we're going to see Jesse Pulley RV being traded, I think it'll be next year, if anything. But I think we're going to keep Jesse Pulley RV this year. We might trade him at the deadline if there's a chance that we could vastly improve the team. But I think Jesse Pugliarvi is a guy that we need to keep. He's an instrumental part of the team. And I think this is a guy that we, without a doubt, should keep. He's a great two-way guy. Uh, posts some great numbers, great possession numbers, great defensively. There's just a lot of things to love about Jesse Pugliarvi. And I'll believe that he'll have a breakout season and I'll play the contract. But... Instead of me, uh, you know, chanting and echoing the same things that I've been saying about this man for uh, this whole year, uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, tell me, guys, in the comment section below what you guys thought about uh, Jesse Pugliarvi resigning with the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, whether you hated it, liked it, whatever it may be, I'll probably argue with you down in the comment section below. Uh, but right now, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios, amigos.